Did you damage the spark plug old threading on your scooter and you don't know how to fix that problem? I'm here to help you out. In this video I will show you how! how. how. Well hello and welcome. This one is a GY6 150cc motor. Now this spark plug is right here. Sometimes when you like to replace your spark plug there is a little problem. That this kind of like place right here is not really easy to change the spark plug. So when you place your spark plug right here, you might go slightly on a sideways. If you go on a sideways with this spark plug, you're going to misthreading or damaging the thread hole inside right here. Now there is a way to fix that problem if you damage the threading or the hole. Now what you have to do, the best thing to do is just to remove the shroud right here, the cover of the motor so you can see better. You can do it without removing but you already damaged something, you don't want to damage more, you know, because uh, it's easy to remove this part right here, you just have a few screws right here, one screw on the other side and then this one just open up and you can remove just the top part so you can see better when it's in the scooter if you like. So just removing this one you're already going to see better because to remove this one down here you might have to remove the exhaust so you have to make sure make sure that everything is cold make sure the motor is cold make sure the exhaust is cold you don't really want to burn your hands or you don't want to damage the plastic because if your exhaust is really hot it's going to melt this plastic right here so make sure you do everything you know nicely and make sure you don't burn your hands and make sure you're safe that's very you know, it's very important. Now, after you remove this one, you're able to see better where is the spark plug right here, or the spark plug hole. So, right here, unfortunately, it's slightly small, so you have to really pay attention when you place a new spark plug. Now, always start by hand, okay? Because you have the best feeling on when you place a spark plug right here because it's kind of sideways so being a sideways is not really easy to put the spark plug inside so if you miss thread this hole there is a solution you know if you damage the threading now the solution is slightly a little expensive but this one can help you out this one is called back tab you know back tab this one will help you to re-thread the hole of the spark plug now if you have a G-Way 6 150cc, you have a 10 millimeter spark plug. So you need to buy a back tap right here, back tap that is a 10 millimeter, okay? At this point, when you remove everything and you have a clear view, you know this thing right here that is the back tap, you just unscrew a little bit the back part right here, okay? Now when you unscrew the back part, you're gonna press forward so this part right here will go slightly forward, if you see. So by going forward, this threading right here, or the back top right here, they're going to be slightly squeezed. Now before you place this one inside the motor, you wanna make sure that you're not on the top that center of the motor. I mean, the piston you wanna make sure is slightly back. You don't want to have the piston at the top because if the piston is going to be on the top you might damage the piston so you want to keep the piston away so how to do that you're just going to turn this one if you see there is a T mark on this one that is the magneto or flywheel so you don't want to put the T mark on this mark that you're gonna see right here there is a, a piece right here that is the mark of the top that center but you don't want that T over there so if you turn this one you make sure that the piston is back you know so you will give a little more room to your back top to go inside there and retread the spark plug okay now this one you can put slightly a little bit of grease right here on this part right here Mm -hmm. 
you place a little grease. Now, after you place a little grease, make sure you have enough space in the front right here. Now, this back top is 10 millimeter. Now, you're going to place this back top inside. Be gentle, okay? And make sure it goes inside all the way. Now, when you're inside, make sure to be gentle okay don't press too much on the training make sure you also you are straight you want to make sure that this one is not sideways okay after that you have the confirmation that you are inside with the top part of the back tab at this point you're going to tie this one that is the back side or the back tab by tightening right okay now this one will expand those little wings that the back top has in the front. Now you can do it gently and not too much because if you're going to touch it too much, if you're going to squeeze it too much, the front back top is going to open up too much and will force too much the front part. Now for back here you can use a 10 millimeter socket. Now this one you can place it right here and instead of turning right, you turn it left. Now make sure you are straight. Now little by little, be gentle because this one is not a race, okay? You have to be gentle because you want to make sure that the back top is doing its work, okay? In the same time, control. Make sure that this back top doesn't turn right because if not you will bring back those shaving of metal that is going to build and it's going to scratch again the treading so make sure that with this one you never go the other way you never turn this one right only turn this one left now this one will help you to retread the treading of the spark plug hole now if this one is going not going to work what you have to do, you will have to move the head of the motor and remove this part right here where you have the spark plug so you can replace this part right here if, re if that hole is really, really damaged. Now, this part right here, that's this part of where is the spark plug and there is the intake and there is the, there is the muffler. This part might cost you between $60 to $80, okay? Now, this back top will cost you between $25 to $85. So you have to shop around, I say. So in the same time, just try to turn this one back and you will retread the spark plug hole. Now, when you're coming out back and you see that the right here the treading of the back top is coming out do not wiggle try to stay straight hold this back right here the back top hold it put your hands underneath so this one will not pressure top or bottom okay or you can keep it like that you know you want to make sure that this one doesn't damage again the treading now keep doing this one until you're out now when you're out you can check if you have lots of lots of shaving, metal shaving or not. Now, because you put a little bit of grease on the top of the back top, you will not have too much shaving for sure. And if you have some shaving, they will stick to the back top. Right here, that's the back top. And this one will help you to retread your spark plug hole. This one is really great thing because I think spark plug hole damage or exhaust studs damage, those are the worst damage that you can do to your scooter. But there is always a way to fix problems, okay? Just watch my channel and you can find lots of video how to fix your scooter. So, and if you have any questions, always feel free to ask. And if you have any questions, I'm always here for you. So this one is a back tap. There is also a top that is not back, this different one. The other one is totally different and we'll make a video about that very soon. 
but this one is a great thing to have just in case you damaging the spark plug threading okay after you're done retreading the spark plug hole you can put a little grease on the spark plug just a little bit a little touch not much okay and you can put a spark plug back inside now make sure when you put the spark plug do not force it now why do i place it right now is because i don't have the shrouding and now it's a lot easier to place the spark plug okay now make sure you tie your spark plug first by hand and then you can use a socket okay because always by hand you have the best feeling okay at this point okay at this point i'd like to thank you very much for watching my video feel free to subscribe click the like button visit my tiktok and if you need any help i'm always here for you thank you very much and have a great day